Here we are at the home of Lures and Tours in beautiful Bob Cajun. Let's see what's happening here today. Oh, look, it's Charlie Ross and Rosa Sharp, and they seem to be hard at work. What are you working on today? Well, we are working on our new publication, the Ontario Directory, and the eight uh, regional maps that we'll be producing for 2013, which will be launched uh, on in October. Now, I understand uh, that uh, you do a lot of work with mapping. Uh, yeah. You better believe it. Yeah, the, map, the mapping goes into the, both the print versions and we have a big online segment. And uh, with the online one, we can offer our clients some new features we're putting in this year, like we're going to expand our, our Google Map section, so anything you click on to is going to have the client's address, uh, some of their features, link them into their directory listing on luresandtours.com. And always a QR code and GPS. Yes, I understand that you were one of the first people to get involved with providing uh, GPS coordinates for people to help them get there uh, right. easily. Right. Yeah, we had some uh, American fishermen up in the winter time years ago, and I just said, Rose and I said, we're we're into this project, we're starting up. What can we do to help you people? What would make your fishing uh, experience easier? And they said GPS, which I barely knew what that was at the time, but. We got into it quickly, and we've been using that ever since 2005, and then other people have adopted it, so it's pretty standard now to see GPS. And also, uh, the QR codes, Rosa. Uh, this is something that is unique to business cards that you offer to people that sign up with Lures and Tours. Our clients uh, receive uh, what we do when they go into an ad that we can provide their logo, so it has to be a little more than the, base, uh, the basic ad. We, um, we put up package together that would give them about $1,500 worth of advertising uh, for uh, plus plus a thousand cards with the GPS with the GPS coordinates on it plus the um, the uh, QR code. What on earth is this coming here? Hi guys! Oh my gosh! Look who's coming! <laughs> this, this, this is Wally! Wally the Walleye. Of course, we're here in Bob Cajun, so of course Wally the Walleye would be here. So, Wally the Walleye, I understand you've been around a while. I have been. Tell us a bit about your adventures. Uh, I started quite a while ago, and you know what? I just keep swimming. So nobody's you nobody's caught me yet. Nobody's caught you yet. So this is the this was the thirty second year of the Canada. U.S. Walleye Tournament, and uh, we had we have more and more people involved in this every year. Are you looking forward to next year? I am. So, what are some of the highlights uh, from this year? Oh, well, this year we had 116 of a possible 125 teams that came in. They had a great time, lots of fish. They just everybody had super time. And uh, now I. I see you're here at the home of Lures and Tours. Doesn't this make you a little nervous being where where so many fishermen could come? No, because I'm pretty fast. I guess they can maybe not catch me. <laughs> well, this is fabulous to meet you here in beautiful Bob Cajun at the home of Lures and Tours. Uh, I guess you're off and swimming upstream. I will be if you can catch me. <laughs> Good luck everyone in catching Wally the Walleye in the 33rd 33rd Annual Canada U.S. Walleye being held here in Bob Cajun. Fabulous. So